Hey guys, it's Poncho from Footy Insight bringing you the new and improved Mercurial Superfly 5 from Nike. Let's get these out of the box so you can check them out. So in terms of the new Superfly, a lot has changed compared to the old one. So on the new Mercurial Superfly 5, we now have a different weave used on the upper itself. Uh, it's Nike Speed Rib technology, which is actually a 3D texturing on the upper itself, wherever these black stripes are. That's actually raised uh, from the rest of the upper to allow for a better uh, feel on the ball and better overall fit throughout. Uh, through the fly weave technology, we've also incorporated the fly wire technology, which runs from the base of the shoe to the lacing, just like the previous models. Uh, and that's going to provide for a better locked in fit and better stability. Um, on the upper itself, I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but we actually have this second layer of Nike skin running from the toe uh, on both sides all the way through which is going to aid on durability, uh, especially on the artificial pitches, which I know uh, some of you guys are playing on. Uh, they've also re-engineered the lacing, which is actually a little bit narrower in my opinion compared to the old one, uh, which uh, for me didn't make much of a difference, uh, but for some other people might be a good or bad thing. Um, they've also re-engineered the heel on this model. As you can see, this rubber element that used to go all the way to the very top now only runs halfway, uh, which to me is a big step in improvement because I had a lot of issues with this back part. But as you can see, it's much more flexible and much more forgiving than the previous generation. Uh, so in terms of the new upper and fit and feel, to me, it's a big upgrade on the last generation. So another big change on this Mercado Superfly uh, is actually going to be the new redesign and overhaul of the sole plate itself. Um, there's no more carbon fiber used on this sole plate, as you can see. They've replaced it with this new contoured plate, which is actually supposed to be 40% lighter and just as strong. Two main differences are going to be uh, the contour of the sole plate, which is actually not designed to be flat. It's actually designed to mirror the shape of the foot. Um, and this new redesign of the stud layout, as you can see, which Nike has actually designed for better acceleration and deceleration. Uh, this first uh, five studs here in the front are supposed to provide the best overall bite in terms of acceleration and these two flat studs here in the heel have actually designed flat like this to actually provide for the best deceleration on firm ground and natural turf pitches. In terms of the overall aesthetics of this shoe, um, I actually do like it. Um, it has this kind of fade here in the heel from black to the uh, original colorway. Uh, you have your Volt accents here in the Nike Swoosh, your Mercurial branding, and on the bottom, your studs and Nike Swoosh layout. Um, on the inside, you have your ACC branding here, and again, the Volt Swoosh. Um, as you can kind of see, uh, this uh, new Mercurial Superfly has this uh, cut pattern here where uh, you go from the natural red to this kind of pink colorway, which um, in my opinion uh, is kind of the deal breaker for me. Uh, I would have much liked it um, if it was just this color all the way around, uh, but everyone has a personal preference. And um, to be honest, it's something that kind of grows on you. I personally like it. Uh, the black fly knit collar as well. And then you have your Volt sole plate there with the Mercurial branding as well. Um, overall, I do like it, um, but this kind of split design here is something that uh, could be a hit and miss with certain colorways. So here are the new Superflies on feet. As you can see, uh, they have that two-tone colorway, which uh, you can either like or dislike. It's up to you guys. Uh, I personally, this colorway has kind of grown on me, so I do kind of like it. Um, the new Superfly in terms of fit 
Uh, it's very, very nice, very comfortable right out of the box. The new and improved heel. Um, it's very, very flexible, like I said. Very, very good. Won't have any issues with breaking this time. Uh, the upper is a little bit on the tighter side right out of the box compared to the old Superfly. Um, but you can imagine how soft these will get as a fly knit. does tend to break in very, very nicely. In terms of sizing, I went with a size 8. And as you can see, the size 8 is perfect. So in terms of sizing compared from these and the old Superflies, uh, these run much more true to size. The old Superfly, um, I was able to actually squeeze into a 7.5 for the best possible fit. For these, I would recommend going true to size. 